getting, we're getting to see the the VV Terry. Three, two, one. Over okay. on PS2, here we go. So, what do you think motivated the Terry pick over here on Lucario? Hero? Um. I, honestly, I think the thing that goes really against a Hero in terms of fighting against Man Knight is Man Knight's speed and Hero's awful frame data. And a lot of Hero's like attacks are vertical, and Man Knight is mostly a vertical, uh, uh, they go horizontal, but Man Knight is a very vertical character in my opinion. And the way that Booty plays um, Man Knight is doing these ladder combos that Hero typically can't really get out of that easily, at least he gets like a really lucky zoom, you know? So I think Terry is a very good choice because it kind of forces Man Knight to come to the floor, you know? Yeah, ooh, all right, getting neutral beyond shield. Vivi not able to find anything. So yeah, I do agree, because uh, I think generally, Terry's got a, a pretty good neutral, and especially a pretty good grounded neutral, with, mm -hmm. which Meta Knight, not as much. He's certainly got uh, some things, you know, F smash and dash attack, but Vivi's got burn knuckle on hand. Yeah, I think I think going Terry was a very good choice. It's, it's gonna have to force um, Booty to stay grounded. You can't, you know, go into the air like you would with Hero or Lucario or even Incineroar, when, uh, another one that Vivi plays as well. So Vivi's forcing Booty into a, a situation that's a little bit more uncomfortable. Try, very trying hard that that stationary dimensional dimensional cape, but getting that upbeat out of shield, but not quite getting uh, Vivi's first stock from that as from that. There we go. Great but tech read. Yep. And Go is now offline for Vivi. Not gonna be able to see. Any of Terry's super moves. Ooh, trying to, trying to punish. Booty, Booty is sticking to the air. You know, like like we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. Meta Knight's neutral, much more aerial based. Yeah, and Terry's a complete opposite. I do like the use of the uh, I think it's called Crack Shoot. Uh, Terry's back special. Yeah, uh, a pretty effective um, anti air actually. Is that what it's called? I always thought he was saying tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, crack shoot makes so much more sense. <laughs> Ooh, and I, this is where I think the Terry, the Terry pick becomes something of a double-edged sword. Terry's recovery is fairly linear and honestly not the best. But Vivi proved me wrong right now, getting some good distance out of Terry's recovery. Vivi's doing that like a low mat kind of recovery where you're able to kind of capitalize on a bunch of other moves that take you more vertically or more horizontally. And I think Terry is what well, crack. <gasps> I'm sur I'm surprised, honestly, that Booty actually stayed there and didn't maybe like roll behind or anything like that to avoid the uh, the. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, we actually went for the Buster Wolf. I would have thought Power Geyser would have been the uh, the option of choice right there because that would have caught Booty. That would have caught like the whole platform. Mm -hmm. And I think I would have also killed at, at, at the percentage that Booty was at at the moment. Radish. I, I, <laughs> he's not. not what he says. But I hear radish. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, Vivi, I think, has had some good opportunities to take Booty's second stock, but just not able to find it right there. Right there, we saw the down tilt into there it Burning is. Knuckle, uh, but finally, the up air going to be taking it. I think he's being a little bit greedy, trying to get the, um... Are you okay, Buster Wolf? That one! Oh, I did it! There we go. <laughs> I think it, but it, it got him a clean 45%, and is, that's not going to kill those, those uh, the, the, the attacks, but that certainly will. And now Vivi's go is gone. Yeah, Vivi, Vivi tried to uh, run in and throw out the Power Geyser, which I feel like is a really good neutral tool against Meta Knight because, you know, it's that huge pillar. It's it's like three Palutena up smashes in a row. Uh, so it'll be you know, just that huge anti-air. Right now, though, Vivi getting so much mileage out of that crack shoot, booting now at 97%. Terry can certainly kill. Yeah, so something that, that Booty has to be really careful on is spamming these dash attacks because he keeps spamming him and they're not really doing anything besides getting him punished for it. So, but this ladder combo kind of got going on him. Okay, I see you. Ooh, great spacing by Vivi with the forward air right there. Not, not even getting clipped by that Meta Knight Nair. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually safer than I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a really fast like sh uh, uh, shield option. I have that. I would know. <laughs> I play a I play a Terry at home. Oh, went a little bit too late on the burning knuckle there. Not gonna be able to take Booty's last stock. That's but gonna be the it. Power yep. dunk absolutely yep. will at that. That, percent. that move gives me PTSD. <laughs> I've died to that move. That's just low percentage so many times. I know it was it would absolutely take that stock at that at that high. Absolutely.
It's a matter of actually landing it. Boom. Gone. <laughs> So, a really close first game. I really think... Because, I mean, I feel like we haven't seen Vivi's Terry as much recently. So, I feel like maybe not quite as comfortable finding those uh, kill setups. Because mm -hmm. we definitely saw a couple dropped opportunities there, which gave Booty another chance at life, which, you know, you really don't want to give Booty. I love how every time... The game gets serious, Tekken music has to play. Right. I love it. And it's always... It's always Kazi Mishima. Okay. Always. This is so serious. Alright, it looks like Small Battlefield is going to be Booty's mm -hmm. counter pick of choice. You know, trying to get closer up to Vivi and really get those explosive Meta Knight combos started right now. Now, see, it's just the fact, now can Vivi actually, you know, go on with his lead and have that confidence with Terry? Because some, some, a character we don't really see him play as often, can he, you know, get another win off of Booty? Who, and Booty plays Meta Knight so often that he knows that, like, how do Meta Knight gimping and, you know, a lot of his little gimmicks. Right. Oh, great spacing by Booty. Oh, thank God he said that jump. Had he had not had that jump, it would have been really, really dangerous for him to come back on stage, safely at least. If you throwing out these power waves, I feel like maybe not the most effective projectile against uh, Meta Knight. Great tech. Ooh, but the rising tech, he's at 71 right now? And VB's at zero. <laughs> he sure is. Yeah, the uh, Buster Wolf with having quite a bit of end lag. Booty was able to react and punish with the Dimensional Cape uh, attack version. Yeah, right now it's just a matter of having to pull out the stock from Booty because Booty hasn't, been able to get a hasn't really been able to get much on VV after he, uh, you know, got his uh, got his first stock taken away. And the instant I say that, bro, but right now, you know, is he is he going to do these? Whoa, good spot off of uh, from VV, avoiding that attack and actually punishing with the, with the what like a forward smash? I want to say. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Vivi able to take Booty's first stock right now. Ooh, getting some things started. Ooh, not able to find that power dunk, though. Not at all, and Vivi doesn't have go right now, but he's still pretty devious as Terry, because Terry is just one of those characters that just can do a lot of damage really quick, like, in a random way when he's able to get those combos going for him. But Booty, if Booty's able to actually do a little bit of, of Man Knight, like, Man Knight mechanics, where maybe... It, I, I haven't even seen it in side B from Booty at, at all, and that was something that he was really good at doing um, yesterday during uh, Waypoint, like the Dare tournament. He was doing a lot of repeat dash attacks and side B off stage, and that was able to, you know, close out a lot of good socks for himself. But right now he's being he's playing a lot more safer than uh, than he was yesterday, which honestly might be a really good thing because he just took out, he just took out Vivi's second stock right off stage, and himself only at sixty percent, seventy three percent, really good uh, with, this, uh, with the whole stock lead. Yeah, no, I think uh, Booty's been doing a very good job of playing it patiently and waiting for VB. Because, I mean, we've seen VB throw out maybe five or six crack shoots in neutral within the past 20-ish uh, seconds. So, and, you know, that is what netted Booty the stock. It got VB off stage. Oh, wow, the up smash actually connected uh, on the platform. 66% on VB right now. Seeing if maybe Vivi can slow down that neutral and not throw out so many many of these crack shoots. I mean, I know it's such a such a good anti-air, but I mean, if you're throwing it out, Meta Knight is surely a character. Oh, good on Vivi for rolling behind Booty, and I'm actually surprised that Booty didn't actually like do a you know turn around and and, uh, and punish him for that. But well, both of them are really even stock right now. Oh, maybe oh, I no? lied. No, not 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 quite enough. Had he been over 100, it would have been enough. But that would be there enough. There we go. Finally, burn, uh, oh my using God. the burning knuckle on the ledge. That time was able to catch Booty. You know, Booty had tried that a couple of times before, and Booty was just able to punish that. Uh, but I mean, it's a it's a good sort of uh, ledge trap mix up because it's such an active move. So I think that's why Vivi threw it out so often. But that time, Booty just wasn't ready for it. And after having such a huge momentum in his favor, Booty uh, was not able to take game two, unfortunately. And now he has to fight his way through losers, which, mm -hmm. as we have established, has a nasty amount of competitors he has to go through. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
the t- the Vivi Terry always always surprises me. I, I, I love know. when when people who always have like the same name always see just kind of you know change it out. I'm just like, oh, it's right? like it's like it's like if I went Sephiroth, like yo, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, you know. So it's just, I I love seeing that kind of stuff. 